Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, thank you again for joining me on the third episode this week of Pep Talk Prayers. This is actually the sixth installment, and we have one more week. Next week, we're going to have three more episodes, and let's see, they are called Paint Drying, the plot and life plan. And that'll be our last week. That will be a total of nine pep talk prayers videos. Again, you can hit the link in the description. You can also look on the screen and you can buy the, uh, your own copy of pep talk prayers so that you can, um, follow along with me. I also have a playlist y'all called pep talk prayers. So if you need to get caught up and check them out, you can, again, they're pep talks. None of them are over 10 minutes. I believe they all between five and 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, whenever you get a chance, check that out. So y'all let's jump in today. Today might be my favorite one thus far. I'm not going to lie to you because when I was writing this book and I wrote out this prayer, it really, really made me think about, uh, how we really don't see ourselves the way God wants us to. And we really, put these barriers and we put these, these things on ourselves and on our lives that potentially cause us to miss, you know, the things of God. It really causes us to disconnect and to forfeit, if you will, us getting to a higher level. So listen to this prayer. Lord, I come against the spirit of low level thinking. Stop me if I move anxiously about the vision you've blessed me with. Stop me if I do not acknowledge or give you the glory for the kingdom wealth building ideas you've given me. So I spoke specifically about kingdom wealth right now in that particular uh, instance, because what I don't think people realize, which is something that I didn't under, I didn't realize either. And this is why I think it's important to share with others, because I know that I didn't get it. I might have just been the only one who didn't, but I felt, you know, I should share it. But. When you have low level thinking, oftentimes, if your money is funny, you can trace it back to that, right? I think that when you don't take time to really sit with yourself so that you can develop how you think and, and so that you can cultivate a personal way, a personal aesthetic, not something from someone else. But a personal way that you and you alone, between you and the creator, you and God above, okay, you and the Lord, when you're able to make that type of uh, connection in the sense of you say, okay, Lord, I have to make sure my thinking is on the level that you want my thinking to be on. I need to make sure that if there are things that you're trying to get to come my way, and I am not positioning myself to receive them, I know that I'm not going to be inside your perfect will. And y'all, I don't think I have an episode that I'm going to talk about this on, but if you want me to, let me know in the comments. But I talk about permissive will and perfect will, and I talk about the difference between the two, because a lot of people don't even know that exists, but essentially it's this. It's like, God will get, basically give you permission, like it's all good, but it's not great. It's not the best choice. It's not the best decision. So like there's permissive and perfect. If you want to hear about that, let me know. But like I was saying, when you're talking about levels, y'all, listen to me, hear me out, okay? There comes a time when you should get to this place in your life where you should be able to say for yourself why you feel like um, the things that you are doing in your life matter for you and whomever else God has called you to be around to assist, serve, or help. Everybody does not necessarily get there, but I do think just based on what I've studied in the word, God is always trying to give us an opportunity to be healed. He says that, you know, we don't have to let our hearts be troubled. He talks about how we can bring our worries and our cast our cares upon him. So it just seems like throughout the word of God, the Lord is always trying to find a way to keep us safe and protected and healed so that we can 
have good success, like he talks about in Joshua and how he talks about in Psalm 118. I do believe that that is the premise of that. It's like, I feel like God just keeps, y'all just got chill saying that. Oh Lord. I just kind of feel like God really wants us to thrive. And he's always doing us these silence. He's always drawing us these opportunities to just be like, Hey, look, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want, I don't want you to have a broken heart. I don't want you to feel inadequate. I'm not saying that you're not going to have a fiery trial, quote unquote, or a tribulation, quote unquote. But I still want you to understand that I am here for you no matter what, because here is the thing, y'all, we're spirit beings and human bodies. So we have to take what's par for the course on, uh, we got to take those things on in life. So basically when I say par for the course, it's, it just basically comes with being a human. It just comes with having a heartbeat and a brain and a body. It's just it's just what comes with it. You know, we can't swap it out. It's still a human experience. We are hum- we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And there there has to be a bit of wiggle room right there. You know what I'm saying? So that we can successfully navigate this thing. Because listen, it doesn't matter how much we try to inspire, how much we try to motivate or do whatever. It's not going to matter. That is why for me, y'all, if you don't really know a whole lot about me, I'm going to just say this one little quick thing because I don't want to get too far off topic. But I'm an inspirationalist. And specifically, I'm a brand inspirationalist. I'll tell you about all of that one day. But I'll tell you about the inspirationalist part. Me being an inspirationalist is extremely important for me because I'm not an ins- I'm, I'm the inspiration specialist as well. That's my moniker. But by trade, I'm an inspirationalist. And the reason why I say it's important for you to really understand the difference between that and maybe somebody who's just maybe a motivational speaker or a motivator of some kind. As an inspirationalist, I not only use my spiritual gifts and I'm inspired by the Holy Spirit and what the Lord is leading me to do, but I also make sure that people have a plan. They can create a system. They can not just take the inspiration and say, yay, yay, I'm so inspired. Yay, that was a great word, Robin. And then you're done. I'm always trying to give y'all tools. I'm always trying to make supplemental videos. What else you need? What we need to do to get it cracking? Because I have wasted so many years of my life just rah, 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 yay, 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 inspire, inspire, and not getting things done. On the outset, it might look to everybody like, girl, you got all of this going on. And it's true. I did have a lot of things going on, but I should have had so much more going on. And I can be transparent with you about that. I could have had so much more, but because I I spent so much time being an inspirational person because I didn't have to, that's my natural way. I didn't have to study for that. I didn't have to try to learn how to do that. I've always genuinely been a very inspirational child ever since I was little. So that was second nature to me. But what but what was not second nature to me was having the ability to not only inspire people, but inspire people to impart, intentionally inspire people to take action, intentionally inspire people to make impact. So that is a very different course. And that is why when we talk about today's topic levels um, and pep talk prayers, it's, it's important for you to think about that because low level thinking will not allow to come to you. Uh, excuse me, y'all I'll be fumbling on these things sometimes, <laughs> but I'm sorry. What I was trying to say was low level thinking will not allow you to adequately go to the level that God wants you to go to. Everyone has a very specific journey. Everyone has an authentic purpose. And you all, y'all already know. Some of y'all probably know it by heart. I'm why to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. And that's why. Because there's a lane for all of us. And there's something that God wants us to do, y'all. And it's important that when you think about the levels that you're on, that you really put some effort into making sure you don't allow yourself to slip into those lower levels of thinking. And an example of that would be, you know, well, where I'm at is good. I'm straight. You can become rigid or you can become stuck or, you know, you don't, you don't have a learning spirit or like you don't want to expand and learn more, not because you're forced and someone's making you do it because that's always going to end up weird, but genuinely just having a propensity to want to go as high as God may want you to go. Sometimes you have to check yourself with that. And I'll tell y'all this, I'm going to be getting into my series in February Mentor from afar. I I did that on my podcast and I'm going to do a version of that on YouTube. I think it's very important that you start getting you some mentors. I know that we are in a pandemic. 
A lot of the big time people are super expensive and I get it, but there should be some people that you partner with, either, even if it's you getting their courses, if you're getting their coaching, if it means you're just following the social media and you, you know, you listen to the tips and tricks. I don't know. It's just going to be different for everybody, but I think that that is always a tremendous help when trying to elevate you to another level. When you see somebody doing something similar to what you want to do and you see them actively walking in it and living it out, it's a game changer. And so... I hope today's pep talk prayer blessed you guys. Please look on the screen and hit the link to get your copy of the book if you don't have it. And you can also click the link right next to it and you can go to the pep talk prayers playlist and you can get caught up on all of the other videos for this series. I will be.